Hey there, it's um, it's Monday today, I think it's the 8th, no, no, that's October. Uh, it is the 11th, um, yeah, anyways, um, I have a bunch of uh, video footage that me and Carson took when we were in Seattle that I have to edit, and I was going to wait for that to post a vlog, but I figured that might take me a little bit because I want to make it decent looking, so, um, I figured I'd post a vlog, and today, uh, me and some friends were having pancakes, and we're watching some of me and Carson's vlogs, and then going back to listen to how high my voice was before, and it's really insane, and they even mentioned that, um, my voice now, as opposed to how it was when me and Carson did that double vlog, it's changed dramatically, which... You know, of course you notice in the beginning when it starts to change, but as it progresses, you don't really notice all that much unless somebody points it out. <laughs> that really loud noise was just the chair that I'm sitting on, and I moved something with my foot. A big metal piece. I don't know. I got it from Ikea. Not everything's secure. Um, so, yeah, Carson visited. Um, he left... When was it? Last Thursday? So it's only been a few days and it feels like forever. <laughs> um, but we had a really, really good time in Seattle. Um, Seattle itself is great. Uh, I really liked the city. Um, we were staying on like Capitol Hill area and we took a lot of pictures and even the convention center was really pretty. Um, the conference itself, uh, was really good. It was just really intense. Um, I found I had to take, I got anxiety the first time I went there, and I think partially because there was our conference going on as well as a gaming conference, so there was a lot of people, and it was great being around a bunch of trans people, um, but there's a lot of processing going on, so it got kind of emotionally exhausting, um, but overall it was really good. My favorite workshop that I attended was uh, Masculinity and Responsibility. And we were speaking about, like, um, you know, what responsibilities we feel we take on now because moving, like, in a more masculine space or if we're more masculine identified. And what's really interesting to me is um, how as trans men we can, like, pick and choose what masculine qualities we want to embody. We don't have to... Um, well, I, I can't speak for everybody, but I was never felt pressured to act in a masculine way. I, I, I felt pressured more to act in a more female way, so now if I think that uh, a certain masculine behavior is oppressive, I don't have to um, take that on myself. And I also find that I really look at those kind of things critically, like if I see any sort of um, misogyny um, when it comes to men interacting with women, it makes me very, very angry. And I'm, I, this doesn't really happen all the time. Um, but just when it does, I really don't like it. And I'm kind of interested to see when I pass more, um, how I'm going to approach those situations because I'm, I'm really going to have to learn how to pick my battles because if I engage the wrong person in an argument about feminist issues, um, you know, I could wind up getting hurt. So that's something that I've always kind of worried about during transition, my physical safety when it comes to other guys, because not necessarily because they know I'm trans, but if they just read me as another guy and they don't like what I'm saying, obviously not all men are like this, but what if I'm speaking to the guy that has aggressive behavior? Um, I just, and even though it's it's kind of strange, I feel since I started T, and especially the past few months, um, I've been feeling this need to fight almost. Like there's a homeless man around here that is pretty aggressive. He'll act really, really sweet to you until you say you don't have any money and then he'll walk off and say, fuck you. And he did that the other day. Like he came up to me and I know who he is. He comes up to me all sweet, like, he's like, hey, can I ask you a question? And I'm like, no, because I know to, I know who you are and I don't have any money. And he walks off and he's like, fuck you. And I had this huge urge just to, like, grab him and punch him. And, you know, like, I'm not an aggressive person whatsoever, but it's like, I feel this really big urge <laughs> lately to want to engage in aggressive behavior. 
I'm not, um, which I guess is the biggest difference, but, um, it's like I want to get in a fight for some reason, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just kind of interesting to see how when, um, I move in the world and I pass 100% of the time, how I'm going to deal with those situations. I think I know myself well enough that I don't think I'd engage in that sort of behavior, but I get riled up pretty easily, especially about um, issues that I'm passionate about. Um, any sort of feminism, like, I I remember one of my friends telling me when I first started transitioning that um, once you start passing, men will say the most fucked up sexist shit to you. Because one thing uh, that was discussed in the workshops is that with women... Um, if there's like two or three women in a room and they're having a conversation, if a man, wa if a man walks in, they're not going to change their conversation where if that situation was reversed and there's three men in the room, if a woman walked in, their behavior changes. And that's something that I've never really noticed before, or even really thought about, but it's kind of true. Like I don't, unless, you know, I'm speaking about something, um, confidentially, I'm not going to change what I'm speaking about. Uh, it's never really occurred to me. So, um, just noticing little things like that and even having it pointed out to the fact that I stand very feminine <laughs> because, you know, I'm in that, um, middle stage. I had a uh, guy at the conference say that, stand like you're at a urinal. <laughs> and I've been really, um, aware of how I've been standing lately. And he also mentioned that I should change my glasses because they read as sort of feminine, which, you know, you can take things like that. I think, um, his intentions were, were good and I didn't get, um, a negative vibe from him whatsoever, but there's, uh, you kind of have to take that information with a grain of salt. I never really took my glasses as feminine, even though I've been wanting to get new ones for, a while. I actually prefer just to get contacts because my glasses are always dirty and I hate cleaning them. Um, but yeah, you know, and depending on where you are, you know, on another one of the workshops we were talking about different, um, just subtle behaviors that men have. Um, and it even differs for where you're living. People on the West Coast might have, um, different common behaviors than, um, on the East Coast. I noticed that when I notice here that when guys interact with each other, when they're interacting with me, um, if they read me as male, they say man a lot. Um, <laughs> so I asked a guy for a light the other day and I did the same thing and it did actually help me pass, um, which was strange. <laughs> um, and I, I don't know if I talked about this in my last vlog, I might've, but when I'm interacting with guys that are straight, um, or that I view as straight, I guess, because you don't, you can't really tell by looking at somebody, obviously. Um, I channel some inner straight guy and I really keep my inflection down. I minimize my hand movements and uh, I generally, I'm not as flamboyant because I'm really worried that, not that they're going to read me wrong, but that um, they'll read me as a guy initially and then I'll do something like make a baggy hand gesture or something and then they'll read me as female. And it's that rejection that I'm just not comfortable with, you know, because that would hurt a lot. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to wrap this up because it's been eight minutes and uh, or almost nine now. But yeah, I just wanted to post something quick and now I got to get to do some cleaning and laundry. And then, um, yeah, in a couple weeks, I'll be in San Francisco. So I imagine me and Carson will be taking some more footage there for sure. All right. Hope everybody's well. Bye.